Hey everyone, I am Engineer Jeffrey Vargas of Class Math 221, Numerical Methods for Ordinary and Partial Differential Equation of Papua University. I will be discussing two numerical methods for today's video, the bisection method and the trapezoidal tool. Let me start with the bisection method. There are many names for this method. The interval halving method, root finding method, binary search method, or dichotomy method. This is a mathematical method in finding a root of an equation by repeatedly dividing the interval. The intervals are the xn and xp. So in this method, the two intervals should be identified in order to perform the computation. xn is the value of x that makes the function negative, while xp is the value of x that makes the function positive. In the illustration, you may see the position of the two interval points, the point A and the point B, where A is the xp while B is the xn. In this method, by repeatedly dividing the interval, the gap becomes narrow until such time that the value closes in the correct answer, which is the root of your function. Since we mentioned that in this method, we will be performing series of iteration, the following are the conditions that the iteration should be stopped. First, the computed value of your x nu is already zero. It means that you have the exact value for the root. Second, the previous value of xn is the same of the current computed value of x nu. In this program, we will use C++ to execute the bisection method. The name of this project is root calculator using bisection method. This program is only capable in finding the root of a polynomial equation having a highest degree of 4. The maximum interval used is from negative to positive 1 billion. This program is not capable in solving root involving complex number and roots that does not lie on the boundaries set in this program. In this code, we provided a holder for the value of the numerical coefficient of the polynomial we will be solving. It is set as x1, x2, x3, x4, and x0. It is where the value of our numerical coefficient will be stored. The boundary is set from positive to negative 1 billion. In this portion, it is set that the numerical coefficient of the polynomial equation be inputted by the user. In this program, four roots are expected to be computed following the limitation set. If the value for the numerical coefficient for a particular degree is zero, it will automatically exclude it on the computation of the root as set on the program. Meaning, for example, if the numerical coefficient of your x raised to 4 is zero and the other are non-zero, the root to be computed is only 3 based on the code. This portion will identify the xn and xp to be used in the bisection method. After the interval xp and xn are identified, the program will perform the bisection method as reflected on the code of the program. On the development of the program, the interval are set to be user's inputted data. This is for testing purposes only. As seen on the sample, the interval are set from negative to positive 1000. All roots bounded on the intervals, so we have four roots for the equation. In this illustration, the boundary is set compared to the previous testing. Since the other root does not lie on the boundary, other root is not computed. On the final development, the boundary is set from negative to positive 1 billion. To utilize this program, first thing to do is to run the program, input the numerical coefficient of the equation, and wait for the value of the root. The computation takes time for this method. The bisection method is the simplest yet the slowest numerical method in approximating the root of a function. Let's solve the root of the following equation using the program. In the program, we will input the numerical coefficient. 1, 10, negative 4,021, 56,000, 
800 and last is 2,292,000 2, and we will wait for the final answer. As computed by the program, our roots are the following 47.017 20.97, negative 4, and negative 73.99. For our next example, 10x raised to 3 minus 4021x raised to 2 plus 56800x plus 292,000. So we input it to our program. Since there is no numerical coefficient for x raised to 4, we just input 0. Then 10, negative 4,021, 56,800, and 292,000. Automatically, since we only have 3 root, 1 root is not available. So as computed by the program, the three roots are 387.23, 18.86, and negative 3.99. For our third example, x raised to 3 plus 5x raised to 2 plus 7x minus 20. Same with the previous example, our x raised to 4 is 0, 1, 5, 7, and negative 20. So we are expecting three roots for this equation. The first computed root is 1.31. So there is no computed root for the other two, meaning uh, it's not included on the boundary we set. Also, as part of the limitation of this program, the, val the, uh, the value for the other roots are complex. Our last example is a quadratic equation. x squared plus x minus 1. Our x raised to 4 is 0, as well as x raised to 3. Then we input 1, 1, and negative 1 for the other numerical coefficient. So since we are just expecting two roots for this equation, automatically, root 1 and root 2 are not available. So the computed roots for these quadratic equations are 0 0.618 and negative 1.618. This concludes the discussion for the bisection method. For the trapezoidal rule, this method is also called trapezoid rule or trapezium rule. It is a numerical method used in the integration of a function. It is just an approximation of the value of the integral of a function. This is called trapezoidal rule because the approximation for the integration of a function involves the computation of the area of a trapezoid. As seen on the graph, the area under the function f of x is computed by approximating the area of the trapezoid which is represented by the formula shown in the presentation. The segment on the illustration is 1 with two points A and B. If we will consider multiple trapezoid under the graph of a function f of x, the more accurate the computation of the area of the function can be as illustrated on the graph. To execute the trapezoidal rule, we use C++. This project is to be called as Integral Calculator using Trapezoidal Rule. This program is only capable in finding the integral of a polynomial equation having a highest degree of 4. It can display up to 15 digits in the result. For the accuracy of the result, 1 million segment is used. Percent of error for this method will be shown at the end of the presentation. In this code, we provided a holder for the value of the numerical coefficient of the polynomial we will be solving. It is set as x1, x2, x3, x4, and x0. 
it is where the value of the numerical coefficient will be stored. The segment used for this program is set to 1 million. In this portion, it is said that the numerical coefficient of the polynomial equation be inputted by the user. The upper and the lower limits are said to be user inputted also. In this code, the trapezoidal rule is to perform. This involves the computation of h based on the upper limit, the lower limit of the integration and the segment use. It will perform the computation of the partial approximate value and some all partial approximate value to generate the approximate value of the integration. The final answer is set to 15 decimal places. To utilize the program, the user runs the program, inputs the numerical coefficient of the equation, inputs the lower and the upper limit of the integration, and wait for the approximate value of the integration. Let's solve the integral of the following equation using the program. In this example, let's solve the integral of x raised to 4 plus 10 x raised to 3 minus 4,021 x raised to 2 plus 56,800 x plus 292,000 from 0 to 1. So we input the numerical coefficient 1, 10, negative 4,021, 56,800, and 292,000. And we, we input the lower limit, 0, and the upper limit is 1. And the answer is, the approximate answer is 319,062.3666. In the second example, the integral of 10x raised to 3 minus 4,021x squared plus 56,800x plus 292,000. Since the value of the numerical coefficient of x raised to 4 is 0, so we, we input 0. 10, negative 4,021, 56,800, and 292, her lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1. The answer is 319,062.1666. The third example, the integral of x raised to 3 plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 20. Same with the previous example, we do not have numerical coefficient for x raised to 4, so we set it to 0. Next is 1, 5, 7, and negative 20. Their lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1, and their answer is negative 14.58. For our last problem, we have a quadratic equation. The integral of x squared plus x minus 1 from 0 to 1. Since there is no, no numerical coefficient for x raised to 4 and x raised to 3, we set it to 0. And then 1, 1, and negative 1. Your lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1. Your answer is negative 0.16. This is the summary of the results of the integration of the example equations using the trapezoidal rule. Compared to the true value, the error are approximately zero. This concludes the discussion for the trapezoidal rule.